Okay, so as we begin, um, Sadiq, are you on the call? Yes, I'm on the call. I'm just trying to share my screen. Uh, okay. Okay, so as we wait for Sadiq to share his screen. I hope okay. you guys are uh, good. Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I welcome you all to this session. Uh, this session is going to be a very brief one, as we'll be taking questions afterwards. Uh, so basically, our our sh our topic for this week is just all about debating, and why we are just basically why we are doing this is just uh for the betterment of building your confidence and your communication skills. So. Let's get started. So the first thing we'll be, talk we'll be talking about uh, on our outline today is the concept of debating on how it works. And I'll be uh, introducing you guys to the basic argument structure, uh, the, be the benefits of debating, and we'll be working you through the uh, exercise solution. So uh, when we talk about debating, debates, uh, in my own opinion, or generally, is just different from uh, Different from the normal conversations we do have, debate is just like a structured argument. What I mean by structured argument is that uh, a debate has a predefined format. It has a predefined format in such that it has a set aside format uh, for presentation, unlike the unstructured argument, which is just the normal uh, normal conversations we do have. So basically, in a debate, we have two sides that are speaking, and they are speaking alternatively. That means uh, we have a side that is speaking in supporting of the motion, and we have a side that is speaking against the motion. Usually, uh, in a debate, a debate is usually timed, and each uh, participant has a particular time frame for speaking. So that is basically the concept and of, of debate and how debate works. So moving forward, uh, let's just uh, study the basic argument structure. In a debate, uh, it is very necessary for you to, to follow the argument structure, as I have said earlier, because it is that structure, that predefined structure, that makes it uh, a debate. Otherwise, without that structure, it is just a mere conversation. It's just like two guys sitting down together and exchanging opinion, saying, yes, I'm so in support. No, I'm not in support. But with this structure, we it is uh, it is it is known to be a debate so basically a formal debate usually involves three groups of people which is uh the the team that is supporting the the motion and the team that is opposing the resolution and we have uh, a panel of judges so in our situation for this uh for the talk Thursday tax we've been grouped into groups we have a group that are that are supporting the motion and we have a group that are, that are opposing the motion and we have we the tutors there to observe and moderate the whole tax however the ev the evidence of the the evidence and arguments of the of the debate as well as the overall performance are being graded so that way we'll be able to know who uh which team was able to come out with some factual points which team was able to to bring out some convincing points. So overall, argument and debate is just about is just about convincing. Although you you might the topic at hand might seem very difficult, but it's just about following this structure and making the whole convincing people that what you're saying is right. Also, an argument can just be broken into simple uh, parts, which is uh, the claim what your your position your stand on the topic the premises the reason or, or the evidence why you are standing on that claim and an assumption you assume what what you assume what you conclude uh, it's just like it's just contrary to the premises that is the basic structure so uh in your debate we expect you guys to have uh to have a claim let's say you're saying uh covid19 is man-made 
are you supporting it? Yes, that means you're saying COVID-19 is mind. You're supposed to, to work on some premises. Those premises are your facts. Why are you saying COVID-19 is mind? You are trying to convince us what points do you have at hand? And then your assumption, your assumption is, is just like a supporting conclusion and it is uh, contrary to the to the premises. So moving forward, uh, all of this we, we, we are planning on doing the debating and the debating in general is for the is for the betterment of improving our communication skills. That is the most important aspect because we can't just uh, say we are going into a debate. What are we trying to achieve from this tax? What are we trying to improve? So basically, the key aspect we are trying to improve you guys on is your oral and is your oral communication skills. Also, from the debating, you should be able to improve your critical thinking skills. By critical thinking skills is what I mean is because you know in a debate, you have limited time to just come on and speak. That way, uh, it's more it's more like an impromptu tax. So we want to test your ability to to just think at a spot and bring out convincing points. So that way, you are you're, you're you're trying to build and improve your critical thinking skills. Also. Uh, debate to enable you develop effective tools for research, organization, and presentation. For instance, you have a topic at hand, and you know on Thursday you're having your debate. You're having your debate, so that way you're already preparing. You're already getting your key. You're already getting your key points, your facts, and you're already preparing them. So in this way, you are improving your research abilities. You are improving uh, the way you are going to put this uh, fact you've you've, you've researched. And you're also improving the way you are you're going to present them. So overall, debating is just is just about improving the overall interpersonal communication skills. Also, when when you debate, you are you're building your confidence because uh, let me take for instance for the mock interview. In the past for the past two weeks now, we've observed that uh, just a few people have been volunteering to to participate in the mock interview. So as a result, you discover that just few people are trying to 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 to, to involve themselves in the mock interview, which is uh, a result of their confidence. Maybe they have confidence, and the rest are not trying to involve themselves because they lack some some bit of confidence. So by participating in the debate, uh, you're you're getting involved. You are building your confidence, even though you don't speak, but it's uh it's a mandatory tax, and doing it more often will improve your speaking and build your confidence. And lastly, the benefit of debating is people management. When we talk about people management, following your intensive training, you are expected to be job ready. And in the nearest future, you get yourself to be involved in a, in a working setting. Getting involved in a working setting, there are so situations where you need to, uh, where your opinion with, with your colleague or your coworker might vary. This is where your debating skills come in. You need to, you need to. Uh, it is at that point you need to state your your reasons for a particular tax, your reason for a particular, for your justification for carrying out a particular tax, and that way you'll be able to convince everybody that this is why you want to do this particular tax, and without hurting the opinion of others. So these are the uh, overall benefits of debating. Moving forward. Uh, what we expect you to do from your solution, you might have as well gone through the doc and seen what uh, you're expected to do. But generally, what we want to expect, what we expect you to do is on Thursday during the debating, uh, following the debating, you're going to have a submission and you need to make comments, especially on how you felt you spoke during the debate. Maybe during the debate, you felt uh, you spoke well and you're building your confidence. You need to go on. You can imp you can uh, input it into your submission. You need to you can also go on and input how you felt about how you spoke during the debate and when you were asked questions. Are you able to manage these questions from the moderator and what you would do differently next time? So anything you observe during the debate about yourself, you can just involve it in the submission. And lastly, uh, let's talk about how the debate will work. The debate will be on Thursday. Uh, each team by now you you can check your mail and you will receive a schedule uh, your schedule so that uh, it will be 
uh, very timely and orderly. So basically how it's going to be is that every individual from each team will get one minute of their intro statement. You get one minute to tell us about what you think on your, on your set topic and your position. Afterwards, the moderator, which is any one of us, either me, Maureen, or Mariam, will then uh, ask you follow-up questions. So it is from that questions then you answer and every speaker will then get to to go to to give their closing remark or their closing statement or their conclusion on the laid premises so basically this is all of it and we expect to get a submission by saturday 8 pm utc so as it stands uh before this session we expected that each and every one of you have gone through the doc prepared your questions what do you think is not clear uh how excited are you at the prospect of getting of participating in this debate what do you think about the old tax generally you can just raise your hand and just give your opinion or questions okay you can just go on and speak one give uh, hi, so you mentioned that after giving the introductory statement, um, then the 10 Academy team will be the one asking us questions, follow-up questions. So um, at which point do we debate with the other, like uh, the other team, like for uh, or against? okay uh this is how it would be basically uh you will have gotten your good uh, afternoon everyone hello okay so regarding your questions so this is how the uh debates will be immediately you get to speak you, you know you've been divided into groups and this is how it will be. We have we have some teams that are for and against. So each individual from each group will get to get their intro statement. Intro statement is just your basic quick overview of the whole topic. And you can as well go on and provide us with key points. One minute is just like uh, the general timing, but you can still go ahead and give us the general time, your the your your points and your proof. Then Moderators will just ask you a few questions. Within the period where the moderator is asking you questions, you can just still go ahead and give us a few more points. Then in the end, you give us your conclusion and uh, yeah, you just give us your conclusion. So basically, moderators asking questions is just like a few questions, not, not, really, uh, not really that we have questions set aside. It's just like getting for that clarity. But basically, you'll be the one stating your point and giving us why you're standing on this point. Maureen, you can, do you have anything you want to add in that regard? Well, actually, that's self-explanatory because, um, Wangui, does, does that make sense to you now? Uh, yeah, so it's not so much we're debating a against the other team. It's just that we're presenting our points on no, the topic. No no PowerPoints. You'll be debating. But you know what a, a moderator normally does in a debate? If something is not clear, for example, you make a point and the other team is not getting um is not getting the information that you are one you want to put out. So the moderator is there to clarify. Okay, Mariam, Mariam, you can go ahead. Hi, guys. Wangyu, what's your topic, please? Um, picking, oh, sorry, parents should be blamed for their children's behavior. Okay. I, um, Are you supporting or opposing? Opposing it. Okay, so basically you're saying parents shouldn't be blamed for their kid's outcome or behavior, right? Yeah. So basically, like Sarika said, you're going to give your one minute intro statement. So there is no need to say all those. You know, in school, the traditional thing is it's almost as if you're fighting with the other person. 
but we're not here to fight. We're just here to back up our claims. So instead of the normal salutations where you probably be good day judges, panel of speaker and all those things, you're not doing that. You're just going straight to your opening statement saying, oh, my name is Wagyu and I'm supporting the notion that says parents shouldn't be blamed for their kids' outcome. This is because research has shown that kids, this, 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 whatever point you're trying to make. So you're going to make your one minute statement concrete and very believable that parents shouldn't really be blamed for their kids' outcome. So after you've given your one minute statement, the remaining part of your opposing group will speak too. So can you please share with the other part of your opposing group? Um, the other people in my team are Nyomukiza, uh, Tegisti, okay. Tibare, and Tibarek, yeah. Okay, so if Nio speaks, Tegisti speaks, and, um, oh, sorry, what was Tibarek. that? Tibarek speaks. So what I would actually advise is every group should have a meeting in such that they kind of go through what each other are going to speak. So whoever goes first, or whoever goes next is not repeating what the first person has said. So you have to make sure everybody is saying, giving different points. So if you want to come from the point of maybe social media influence, for instance, Tibarek must not say that. If Tibarek decides to come from the idea of school, um, Neo must not say that. So you have to just have that, both all of you in your group must have done like some sort of pre-study meeting to make sure that, oh, these are the points I'm going to make. So we're going to start with the supporting group. The supporting group will all make their opening statement, then we'll rest. The um, opposing group will say their own opening statement, then we'll rest. When the actual debate comes in, is the moderator has start to ask questions based on the first um, statement you've made. So if you say something like, um, <clears throat> if you say something like social media and things like that, and the moderator has say, what about people that don't use social media? That's where you start to defend. That's where the actual debate comes in because right. you've said one thing, but can you really back on your claim? So it's not like the traditional school where you are almost arguing with the other person with microphone to your face. We want to just have an actual debate, just like you watch like presidential debates, for instance. You might want to just go to YouTube and watch a couple and see how it really works. Um, does that make sense now? Uh, it does. Just one follow-up question sure, to that. Sure. Uh, when you said the moderator is going to ask questions, we are you're going to ask questions to the team or to a specific member in the specific, team? Specific, specific to the so okay. because we're really testing sparing and sparing is to be able to see how someone thinks of their fit. So if we argue you, for instance, I've said like let me just give the example I say again. If you say social media is playing a big factor, based on what you've said, based of your opening statement the um the moderator will ask you so we'll have that one round of asking everybody and open I'm sorry a follow-up question after that one round depending on the remaining time depending on how the person give feedback back the person will have like another one minute to answer the follow-up question then on the remaining time you can now do maybe another round based on the 30 minute remaining time so that's what happens pretty much so it's not scattered. Everyone will have their turn to speak and everyone will be asked a follow-up question in which they are expected to respond to. Is okay. it clear now? Yes, it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, you guys can go on. Um, Maureen and Sadiq. Okay. <clears throat> Mohamed, you can just go and speak. So, uh, Mariam have uh, answered my first and second question but uh i do have a third question which is uh how much time we have <clears throat> how much time you have to, to answer the follow-up question okay what, if what i get you correctly okay. okay okay just a minute we don't want you to speak so much it's just one minute say you've said one thing you that you've made uh, you've established a point you've established an argument you should be ready to defend your argument. So if you say rice is better than fish, and you've said the reason why rice is better than fish, and if I now say, what about people that cannot afford rice? What response are you prepared to that question? So that's why everything you say in your opening statement, be ready to back up whatever you said, ready to justify every statement. And that's where the actual debate comes in. Because you're arguing, or you're giving a structured argument. You're not arguing like, football or banter 
where the point is to insult the other person. No, you're not insulting. You're just saying, oh, I have this fact and these are the um, research or these are the references to back it up. These are my justification to back up these facts. Yeah. So I only have one minute to answer a follow-up question. Yes, one minute to answer one follow-up question. But the way the, 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 way the follow-up would go, if you are answering a follow-up question that leads to another follow-up question, it is what it is. Okay. Thank Do you get? Yes, I get it. Okay. Uh, just as you can speak. Okay. Uh, my question is. I did not get what we put in the in the document that we will submit on Saturday. So if you can help me to have some kind some clarifications. Okay. Uh you you're talking about document the submission on Saturday. Yes, I'm talking about the submission on Saturday. Okay. So Following uh, the present uh, the the debate on Thursday, can you hear me? Following the debate on Thursday, yes. you expected yes. to provide like a professional summary of 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 what you presented. So, for, apart from the what you presented and what you researched about, you also to provide comments on what I feel you will have asked during the. Uh, questions you felt you'll have asked during the debate what you felt about the old debates about the old debates in general what uh how you spoke your feeling your your excitement or generally you just need to put it in that document how you felt you have spoke questions you felt you, you, you should have asked uh the benefits of the old debate in, in general that's what your submission should entail okay or mariam do you have anything you can add on that not necessary. I was just about to paste and comment um, what was on the doc. Okay, okay. So on that submission, on the document, everything you're supposed to do, you're basically writing a report. The yeah. um, exercise is almost in two parts, the actual verbal presentation and the report writing at the end of it. So if you look at it, if you look at the rubrics, in fact, more no, um, part of the rubrics goes to the verbal presentation. So that takes more of the marks. But the report is almost like a reflection. So you've done those debates. What did you get at the end of the day? So I'm um, on that submission. Everything you need to know about the report you're writing is there. So I'm just pasting from the document now in the um, in the chat box for you guys to see. So comment especially on how you felt about how you spoke during the debate with prepared remarks, how you felt about how you spoke during the debate when you were asked to think of your feet, how you were able to manage the question from the moderator, how you felt about the presentation skills of others and what you would have done differently next time. So it's like, fine, you've debated. So did you think you did well enough? Do you think it could have been better? Is there someone else that spoke really well that you admired? Um, were you able to handle the follow-up questions? So you've done the verbal parts now, report on everything. That's what you're supposed to submit at the end of the day. Okay, it's clear now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that aside, Briani, you can just ask your question. Okay, good afternoon. My question, uh, if we specifically uh, to against or support uh, uh, debate on um, within the peer side. I think my peer uh, mentor is not there. I'm um, the work. Uh, I think he's leave the training. Yeah. Or your your okay. your peer mentor. Right. No, uh, this is not about peer mentoring. We've provided a list of uh, of each group having the debates. So you need to just go on the Slack channel and check the group which you belong to and you will find your team there. So you can just reach out to them and discuss how your debate is going to come up. So this is not about uh, the peer mentoring uh, 
list this yeah, about yeah, yeah, the old yeah, debate. Yeah, so you are just you are sure, but and, the guy who listed with the pair with me is um, my peer mentor. That I'm not talking about uh, peer mentor, but he's uh, specifically I'm uh, uh, with him. So if uh, if we debate with a single person, I think I'm debating with him. But when we debate within the group against in the support, it's possible. I think that. I don't seem to get your question clearly. Can you just come again? Okay. I am uh, sorry. Can I just keep in? Um, Debbie, are you in group two? Yeah. yeah Brahman, sorry, group, group B. You're with Bekalu and Alexander. Sure. So, I don't think there's an issue here. On the opposite side, Amdor is not there, I think, on the group. Who, who isn't there? Amdor. If we... Amdor, okay, Amdor isn't in the training anymore. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's on the list there. But he's not in the training. So, can we debate within the group on the... I against to the other side. It is a group uh, debate, so it doesn't really matter if uh, a single person misses or not. So I think, yeah. Okay, if that. Uh, it's, it's not like uh, we are paired with a single person, like you with the. Uh, I mean, what was his name? Like that guy. Yeah, Amdor. You're you're not going to like specifically debate with Amdor, but you are in our team so like we have uh, we stand uh, on like uh, one topic and in, in group we debate That's okay yeah i got thank you all right thanks alexander i think that makes sense now so uh i have one of my teammates uh is not uh the Slack group is the first one. Nibal, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, I actually came. One of the reasons why I attended was to because I kind of forgot to ask. So Nebil is on Slack. His name is Nebil Arega. Um, have you uh, tried searching Nebil Arega? Yes, and I couldn't find any anyone with that name. Uh, really. So let me tag him on the... Yes, if you could tag him uh, and me, so it would be very helpful. So I could add okay. him to our group. It's actually not appearing again. When I searched for him, I saw it. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, what we can do now, please reach out to Abdullah. He will be able to give um, further details about that. Mohammed, did you get that? Uh, no, I see Nahum say he's deactivated. Oh, interesting. Okay, so just ask Abdullah. Uh, please ask Abdullah about the situation. Maybe he left the training or something. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. Okay. So that being said, since you, what group is that again? Group E? Yes. That means you just go ahead with Michael and Enoch. Uh, yes, uh, I have reached to them and we have created a group. Okay. Oh, great. Yes. Great. So I see someone asks, is interaction allowed? Please no. A traditional debate, like in fiscal person, there's something called POI which is point of information. So if your opponent is debating and there's a point they've made and you want to tackle on that, you can say POI, please. And then the person stops talking, then you now bring up your point. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to allow any form of interruption. But what we might do after the opening statement and after the follow-up questions, if there is still a couple of time, we can say, okay, ask the opponent, ask the opponent a question. We'll just maybe allow room for one or two. But well, we're, not, we're not fighting. Because I can see everybody's blood is hot. You guys want to... I'm kidding. But we're not interrupting anyone, please. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, thank you, Miriam, for that. Uh, do we have any further questions? Okay, uh, generous, you can speak. Um, hello. Um, Hi. My question is: Will the debates be recorded for someone to like view on YouTube? Because there are some interesting ones I'd like to watch. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that, Miriam. Can you answer? Will the debates be recorded? I mean, we plan to record, but we don't okay. plan to post. So we plan to record for one thing so that once we want to also grade, we can go back and just watch and see how it is done. But now that you've mentioned it, we might consider it. So let's see. And yeah, because, I agree that. Because I also I also think when they are writing their reports, uh, the, the recorded video might be help, helpful. Yeah, I agree. So we might post it. OK uh okay, thank you any yeah. uh, you're welcome any further questions just uh a quick rem a quick reminder that uh from now we'll not be having volunteers for our mock interview as we've created a list for for people who will be participating in the weekly mock interview so for this week uh just a quick reminder that we'll be having mt9 janet neo mkiza and amwell for the mock interview on Friday. So I'll just paste, I've pasted the uh, list on Slack channel, so I'll just paste it here again once for everybody to see. Okay, Mohamed, do you have a question? Yes, uh, I have a question re in regards to the debate. Uh, are all the debates okay. going uh, simultaneously? No. Uh, uh it's 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 going to be in group okay the first group we're going to start then group b c but it's going to be at once it's going to be a three-hour session so but it's going to be each group will have their allocated time so maybe i'm not sure about timing yet but i know each group will have uh the timing for their yeah, debate so after group a is done then group b will come in and all Okay, uh, and I, I read uh, in the document that uh, it's allowed for everyone to join and see the other group yeah. debating. Yes, yes, that's, that's the, because attendance is also, is also mandatory. You're, you're allowed to come in and watch other groups. So, and for the timing, each uh, group will have 30 minutes because I just saw the schedule on my calendar. It's going to be a 30 minutes uh, for each group. So we have like five groups. So I know it's my extended, but basically it's going to be 30 minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So not, not now is asking, can we ask a follow-up question for the opponent team, right? Here? Because I'm feeling like it's a debate between us and Tena like Kenemi Modrito. No, um, again, I think we should just um, establish the reason for this debate. We're really testing communication. We're testing how to speak. We're testing fluency. We're testing sparing, most especially. And this is because when you get to interviews, you will be asked questions that you'll be required to think in like microseconds. So going back to what Margaret asked during the last mock interview, saying you might be asked something and you don't have the answers to it, but how can you think on the spot to answer that question? So in as much as debate is debate, but we're not doing this debate to kind of establish that fight situation. So there will be room to ask your opponent questions if there is time, but what we're really testing is pairing, how you can think. So how can we test that by the moderator just asking these questions and seeing how you can provide answers to the follow-up questions. So later on, you can now ask your opponent. And then for everyone joining, because we also, also want to give time to, for every group to prepare, and we don't want the session to be quite chaotic. Different groups will have their own different Gmeet link. But at the beginning of each session, the link will be shared on the broadcast channel on Slack. So if you think you want to join group A, you want to see how group A goes, fine. You can listen. But I really encourage that everyone should go plan for their group 
and since it will be uploaded on youtube later you can watch but i mean group one is usually the scapegoat because that's where most of the energy will go and everyone wants to see how to look like so <clears throat> yeah that's it not now i don't i don't know okay he has replied yeah so that's it but while we're still absorbing the old idea if it's not still clear if there are some parts that we didn't really touch on the karate exercise channel is there please ask your questions so by thursday everyone is ready and then we're not yeah everyone is ready empty now so uh, if i understand correctly you're suggesting that uh, each group uh, i mean each side should uh, like um, uh, organize together how they will which <clears throat> sorry which arguments they will use so they don't repeat uh, uh, yeah that is very important yes okay i think it was mentioned in the doc it, yeah um, okay maybe i missed that no it's okay i yeah. mean it's good because for your group for instance if you come up and talk about something and then the next person is giving giving the opening statement and the person is saying the same thing you said i'm not sure what to make it interesting so every member of the group should probably meet every member of each side of the group should meet yeah. and just say these are my points what points are you using and have a backup point just in case so okay okay um, but the order of speaking is the order that the list is so for your group for instance <clears throat> uh, I'm just trying to look at the doc. Yeah. Um, you are the last me. person. So Britukan is first. So Britukan is going first. Then, yeah. Gigan, then you. So it means whatever you're saying, make sure Britukan hasn't said it. The guy hasn't said it. Okay. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I think that, that that acts out your questions. Maybe you can just take a few questions before we leave. And if you feel after after this session, you, are, you still have questions, which I'm, I'm sure we'll still have a lot of questions to come. So you can just paste them on the Slack channel or reach out to any of the tutor. But at the moment, do we have anyone with further questions? uh can i go i mean i expect people from from okay uh it's not uh really really a question but more like uh making sure of things so i think for the submission part of things Miriam has posted what we are going to do right on the submission part i clearly understand everything you said but just to make sure the submission is going to be made in a format that Miriam has just posted on the chat, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh the submission if you go through the Google document uh for this session for this tutorial, the submission format is there. So it's just simple and self explanatory. You can just read through and give your submission in that format. So overall what submission will look like like Miriam have said earlier is just uh is just what you observed about the old debates, how you felt, questions you felt you would have asked, and just general performance of the old session. You could, that's why we we are planning on posting the videos. So you can just even if you've forgotten how the how the session was like, or you you skip some aspects, you can just go on and watch the video and you fresh your memory and put down your 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 writing. So as she has also said earlier, the we are, we, are, we are going to have the, the verbal aspect and the writing aspect, which you just asked. The verbal aspect is, carries more mark than, uh, than the writing aspect. So it is more important for you to concentrate on the debate itself. However, it is very important for you to, uh, to put up a, a great submission document. So that is basically it. So you can just go through the doc and you have your questions answered. Thanks. That's that's nice. Thank you. You're welcome. So, anyone else?
seems everyone understands what has been said. Uh, just for clarity, I would just like to get maybe two people to just give us uh, a clearer insight of what is being expected. Maybe you can just let me just start with Patrick here on the call. Can you just go on and speak and tell us uh, what the old debate will look like? Patrick, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. So okay. can can you can you say can you tell me the question we'll be, again? We'll be, we'll, just for clarity to to ensure you you understand what has been said, uh, we'll be having the debate session on Thursday. So I just want to ask you what, uh, how do you see debate happening? What do you foresee happening? What was your expectation and all? You know, I can just join, so I didn't get lost or what you said, but. I think it's just a debate for what I think is just a debate debate on the topic you gave us. But I asked um, Mariam on Slack that I didn't get a group yet. So I don't know what happened maybe. Okay, you are not you're not in a group yet. I so, say uh so there's other people who are who are not in the groups yet, right? okay uh that that's 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 it's it's nice that you're bringing this up uh if you know your name is not on the list you can just post it on slack channel and i'll get it included immediately but from the list i think okay. it's uh, complete in your, in your dm okay okay so if you feel your name is not on the in on the list you can just reach out to me or post it on the careers channel on slack so that way uh we'll include it who include your name in the group and you get working with your teammates immediately so just to uh, i trade to what sure. we're going to be doing Thanks. on thursday each group will be having their uh, session john will be having like we'll be starting with group group a and group a will be having a uh doctor statement the moderator will be asking you a few questions and you'll be closing your statement then the opposing team will come up just like Mariam have said, we'll be starting with the supporting team because the supporting team is, will tend to have more premises than the opposing. Then you come out with your with your arguments. The moderator will pose a few questions and you end it. Then the opposing team will come up. So this will be doing for all your groups and it's going to be a very long session. Um, we we'll advise you to to prepare in advance with your team as well, and you can join the session for other groups. So OC. Okay, you are not included. If you are not included, like I've said, you can just drop it on Slack channel. Then I'll just pair you all. I hope that's clear now. So I, <laughs> Mariam, now is asking, is there going to be a winner? I don't know. <laughs> As I feel I feel the what the trainees are anticipating. They want they really want the debate debates, not not the they want aspect to fight. of yes, not the aspect of building their communication skills. Like everybody wants to to get their research done and say, Okay, I'm a I'm a good yeah. speaker, I'm an average speaker. But basically that's not what we're trying to test. We're just trying to test your ability to answer impromptu questions. If you ask questions at the spot, your ability to answer the questions instantly. Your ability, just the improvement of your communication skills and your people management. That's what you are trying to test. So, and how much would you love as a gift? Though? I'm curious. <laughs> what would you love the winner to be given? So, let's see if we can make it work. Yes, maybe we can just. I'm not, I'm not even sure. Uh, I have not looking for any particular <laughs> just curious if this is going to be a winner or a loser we, we might decide to maybe just give a badge to whoever we see or whoever we can tell communicated well and like spread well hundred dollars okay patrick we'll move it to the management. yeah i agree with uh, patrick actually but he said he didn't have anything to say suddenly you agree with patrick <laughs> Maybe you give him hundred. Yeah, I think that that would be the end of it. Like at, at the end, of, at the end of the day, if 
the person has done well, the person will get like all the rubrics correctly. So I think we are all looking forward to it, the way I see it. But just like um, Sadiq was asking, I would love a person or two just be able to give a recap and be sure everyone understands it from a training's point of view. So anyone can go up and just like explain. In and it's very important that people from... And it's very important for people that people from A actually understand that because they will be starting the old bit and everybody will be watching them so it's better it's, it's advised they get the old post stuff correctly so if you have anyone with questions you can just ask we have five minutes more on the call okay uh I can see we have no further questions. Uh, thank you for joining this call. Please do have a wonderful day. If you have an, if you have any further questions, please reach out to me, Mariam, or Maureen. I drop it on the Arias channel Slack.